Welcome to Reed Park Zoo, home to over 350 different animals. And of course, as you can imagine, some of them are the favorites, such as elephants, lions, and monkeys. But today, well, we're going to meet one that's not quite as well known. Visitors to the zoo often mistake this animal for a hippo, a pig, or even an anteater. Do you know what animal this is? It's a taper, a Baird's taper to be specific, and the Reed Park Zoo is lucky enough to be home to three of these unique creatures. This is Contessa, the oldest and wisest of the group. She's 16 years old, and this handsome little guy is her son, Evo. And of course, Tupi, the king of the exhibit, at 12 years old. It's easy to see why tapers are mistaken for other animals, but believe it or not, they're more closely related to horses and rhinos. But in my opinion, what makes these animals so unique is their nose. It's perfectly structured for grasping leaves and it doubles as a snorkel, which comes in handy when you love to swim. Today, we are lucky enough to have Rebecca with us, area supervisor that includes taking care of the Baird's taper. How are you doing today, Rebecca? Doing great. Well, I wanna know right away, of the three tapers you have that you take care of, which one likes to swim the most? They all love to swim, but our six-month-old calf uh, took to water the moment he came out into the habitat, and he's a little bit of a daredevil. He likes to jump in from the side and just really enjoys getting in the water. We saw Ibu doing quite a bit of swimming this morning, and I remember reading they will go underwater and hold their breath to avoid predation. Any idea how long they can hold their breath for? They can stay under several minutes, but we don't know the exact longest amount of time they can stay under. So one might say long enough to avoid a predator. Yes. <laughs> we saw you placing some branches and things out there in the exhibit. What did they get to eat today? This morning for browse, they got mulberry, mesquite, and bamboo, and we hid that in different places so that they could find it. And uh, then they also got some alfalfa and some produce. We know that tapers are most closely related to horses and rhinos, but what is it that we can look at on the outside that kind of gives us that clue? If you look at their foot, you can see the three toes, and that lets us know that they're odd-toed ungulates. Having worked with animals myself, I know there's uh, a lot of different reasons why we like to work with them, but tell me, what's your favorite part about working with these three? My favorite part is sharing them with the visitors. They're an unusual animal and they aren't recognized immediately, so I love sharing with people um, how important they are and all of the cool adaptations they have. Thank you everyone for joining us today at the Reed Park Zoo and here with the Baird's Tapers, and we'll see you next time on San Diego Zoo Kids.